Well, hi, hello, and welcome to this video where I'm gonna share with you five ways to build your confidence on Facebook Live video. Specifically, when you are like this, you know, face to camera. Now I know the idea of going live on camera is probably terrifying right now. And you're watching this video thinking, I'm not doing this, all right? This is not for me. I'm happy to hold the camera up and pan it around my space, but I'm not putting my face on the camera. Just wait a minute before you make that decision and let me kind of enroll you into why doing video is a great idea for you. In case you hadn't noticed, the social media world is video based, all right? Even Instagram has gone out declaring it's no longer a picture sharing platform, it's really wanting video. Everywhere we go, video is dominant. Now I'm not saying every single time you need to be live, but we want to be looking at different ways to serve up video for our audience. We know that majority of audiences really like to watch video. They feel a sense of connection with you. They feel sometimes like they're stepping into your space and they can get a little bit of your creative world. It's the best way to build trust and connection with that audience. And so if that means getting over that uncomfortableness, feeling the fear and doing it anyway, and of course learning some tips to build your confidence, then I'm gonna suggest it's something you really do want to look at. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video, Get Started With Facebook Live Video, then I suggest you do that after this one because it kind of gives you the bigger picture for getting into the video world, the live video world. But today, specifically, we want to look at building your confidence because if you feel more confident, you are more likely to show up live. Now, if you're new to this channel, a warm welcome. My name is Sophie Mejia, and I help female artists to make a living from their art or creativity by building a stable, profitable business doing what you love. Now, I post videos on all things art business related, so if that's why you're here, which I guess you are, don't forget to check out in the description below some suggested videos that you might like to watch next. All right, let's go ahead and dive into today's topic, building confidence on camera. Let's look at those five ways that you can feel really good about your Facebook Live video. All right, tip number one, it is of course planning. I did mention it oh so briefly in the other video, but let's take a little bit of a further look. What do I actually mean by planning? Right, planning is gonna be the preparation that's gonna stop you from just pressing live launching, opening your mouth and letting something fall out. Not a good experience for yourself or your viewer, all right? You want to make sure that you just take some time to think through some topics. What am I gonna be talking about? And not just the one you're about to do, but actually you could plan out a whole lot of topics. So for example, I actually have my YouTube videos planned, well, right now at the time of filming for the rest of the year. So each topic, each week I have a topic and they all kind of lead on and link to each other. And when I used to regularly do Facebook Live videos, I did the same thing. Now I'm not suggesting you have to plan out a year, but I would plan out a month, two months, three months. What are you gonna talk about? How can they kind of connect? Always ask yourself, why is somebody gonna watch this? What is my audience, what are they actually going to take away from my video? So plan out some video ideas, you know, do it on a Word doc or in a notebook, something that's easy to refer to. And then use maybe this, this structure of three, five or seven ways, tips, or an easy way for you to remember. And then what I like to do is, is write down bullets. And then when I first started out going live, I used to stick my piece of paper on the tripod underneath where I was filming, so that if I got a little lost for one moment, I could at least zoom back and think, oh yeah, wait a minute, I'm talking about bullet number two out of five. And I would just literally work my way through that. The other way I like to suggest preparing videos is thinking of a beginning, a middle, and an end. So when you do all of that, it helps you build your confidence, all right? You go on knowing what you're going to be talking about. All right, tip number two, and that's preparing your area, preparation, all right? You want to make sure that you're going to go live at the time of day when perhaps the light is good. You want to make sure that you know where you're gonna position your camera or your laptop so that you have the best light. Now, for example, I'll let you know into a tip. I normally shoot my videos in my studio, not in my little home office space, which is a little bit dark. It's kind of okay for, 
you know, live streaming to my own audience or clients. They like that kind of warm orange look. But for doing this, I like to have natural light. And I clear my studio. I move stuff out of the way. I bring the lights in if I need it. I move the table out of the way. I put position the stool so that I'm sitting at the right place. I do the preparation, all right? So that's what you need to be doing as well to feel more confident. You need to know that when you go live, you haven't got something sticking out of your head behind you, all right? You've positioned yourself, you've cleared the bin out of the way, you've, I don't know, moved a plant so that it's nicely in the shot, etc., etc. So do a little bit of planning and preparation. So don't forget, in the preparation, you can also stick the bullets to your tripod and you can also let anyone know that might be around. You could just ask them to go quiet because you're just gonna do a live video. All right, tip number three, practice. Practice, 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 practice. All right, you wanna do a few trial runs. Use your video or even just put the thing up and don't even use it and go, just pretend that it's live. So you can pretend to touch the button and you can pretend that you're going live. Hi, hello, and it's usually the first sentence. That's when we normally have to retake. So by practicing and practicing, hi, hello, my name is, and today I'm in the studio and today I'm gonna to talk about this. Practice, 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 practice before you hit the live button. Tip number four, all right, energy, your energy doesn't always translate through the video, so you need to up your energy and you need to speak a bit louder and you need to come across a bit more energetic. If somebody was standing in the room from you, across the room from you, they might think, oh my goodness me, this person's a bit much. But I promise you, when you've got to translate through that through the media of camera or laptop, if you're speaking a little bit like this and you're a bit quiet and a bit slow, people will switch off, all right? You just need to up your energy a little bit. So if that means you need to jump up and down, skip, hop, jump, go outside, stretch, you know, put a bit of music on beforehand, you just need to get yourself in a higher energy state for your live video. And last but not least, tip number five, you still wanna be yourself, all right? Now you might say to me, myself is super quiet and, and introverted and this isn't me at all. That's not what I mean, right? You do need to put some of that on in order to communicate through the camera. But be yourself in terms of who you are on the camera. You know, if you're funny, be funny. If you're someone who likes to share facts, share facts. If you use certain language, use the language. Like be yourself, don't try and be someone else. Maybe you've, you've watched somebody else's videos and you think, oh, I should sit on the floor the way they do and, and you know get up close to the camera the way they do. If that's not you, don't do it, all right? Find a way of being you on your camera, all right? So I, I'm very much just me and it's become more like that as I go along. Right, I feel very comfortable on the camera, I feel comfortable on the live. If something happens, I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm not changing who I am, the way I communicate, etc. So that's what I want for you, just to be you and show up as you on the camera. Right, which one are you gonna focus on? Because I know that I've given you five tips to building your confidence live on camera. You're gonna go, oh my goodness me, I don't know where to start. You can start from the top and work your way down, but maybe you're just gonna focus on one of them. Maybe you need to focus on raising your energy, or maybe you need to do a better job of preparing, or maybe you need to do a better job of planning which one's it gonna be. Share below the video what you are going to do and any hurdles you perhaps have or any questions you have about going live on video because I love, love, love to answer all your questions. Now I promise you, confidence does not build with having the right equipment. Of course it helps, but please don't allow that to become a procrastination strategy. I haven't got a microphone, therefore I can't go live yet. I haven't got the best light, therefore I can't do it. I'll put it off, I'll put it off. Please don't do it, just start with what you've got and you can always add as you go along. Confidence comes with you connecting with your audience, all right? It also comes with repetition, doing it over and over and over again. 
So if you start out and you start regularly going live, you're gonna bumble on the first one, you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna say things you might regret. You wanna get those ones out of the way so that with time you start communicating a little bit more clearly and you're a bit happier with the end results. Now, if you've loved this video, don't forget to give my channel a thumbs up. If you've loved this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up because that really helps me build my channel. And of course, subscribe as well and hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. We love to have you here. I'm really, really grateful for your attendance and I'll see you on the next one.